Hello Scorpios and welcome to your July 2024 reading. So I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about. Some of you come into the world, and not the world, but the month, <laughs> okay, with this maybe more present. Okay, I have an emperor in reverse and the three of swords. So in a way, it's kind of saying, okay, this month is perfect to address um, the disappointments you got from the divine masculine but when i say the divine masculine i don't mean man i mean how people act how people uh, treated you uh, did they support you did they lie to you did they betray you did they um you know all the kings in reverse it's the emperor in reverse it's uh how we choose to act out there and how others choose to act towards us. And here, the Three of Swords. These are the beliefs that are stuck in your heart, creating that cloud uh, from past disappointments and heartaches. So the shape of your beliefs is um, hurting your expansion. Okay? So that Emperor in Reverse is as much you as what created it kind of kind of way it becomes a mirror because if we have three of three swords in our heart we're not supporting ourselves we're maybe betraying ourselves we're not uh, going for our dreams because there's a dark cloud over them so it's in that principle but during the month you're um, going to turn the page move yourself away from that situation because it could be a specific situation or just an aspect of you that will be stimulated we are entering cancer but we are in cancer season and you being another water sign you're gonna feel that uh, cancer going all the way to the roots to the bottom of the sea uh, like the crab trying to hold on and find root in the waters so it has all the memories of the old stuff also which you have the capacity to go dig um so there's gonna be a lot of forgiving turning the page moving on this month at the end of the month you're gonna be faced with what do i do with my fire because i have strength in reverse so this is a bit like when if strength would be upright, it would be okay now, follow me. Okay, we've released all of this, we're turning the page on this. But here it's more like, okay, I am ready to react to whatever is out there. Um, the fire is going to have to be mastered here. Under our Tree of Swords and the Emperor, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Because this can be either very fresh for some of you. Others of you, you've had it for a while. And it kind of dictates your perception of what is in front of you. Of situations, people, how you read things. You're reading them through the Three of Swords. Through the heartaches. Uh, and through like the film of an, a reversed emperor uh, so this is kind of because this came on the side so that tells me that some of you will be able to follow your inner light that's going to give you the wisdom of this and okay we don't know what it is we have a hard time perceiving it we want to reject it before it arrives but let's listen to our inner light okay because there's a need to readjust when you look at the these two guys they're it's the same guy just here they he's got a, a cloak over him but it's the mature wise divine masculine the one that uh, has the wisdom because he understands where the wisdom comes from it's not imposing dogma it's having wisdom and applying it into his life this guy uh, this guy did not does not do that but this guy can 
And so it's that kind of, what's my authenticity? What's my integrity at this point? Do I want to move towards my light, towards my uh, peace, my serenity, using my wisdom, or reacting to all of this? is probably going to be very relevant uh, for you, uh, my beautiful Scorpios. So this month, you're turning the page, you're continuing, you're reassessing what you want, what you desire. This is what I want. So you're manifesting. But here, this is where the fire is going to be questioned because we have the nine of wands and the eight of wands in reverse and then a leftover seven of cups so it's almost like i'm really conscious of all the distorted divine masculines i'm turning the page all of this i'm manifesting it's not happening right away and it brings up the reaction the guard the not in the flow with the universe, but projecting all sorts of old stuff um, that came to the surface. That would be uh, the danger because we haven't quite uh, released all of the old ones. So when it comes to the fire, we we might where where's my is my fire grounded, aligned towards what I really want, or is it all chaotic because it's trying to protect myself? Okay, let's clarify. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Scorpios for the month of July, 2024. Scorpio. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, you're, okay. I thought I was mixing my cards all upside down. Okay, that's good. Okay, so what's that Tree of sword with the Emperor? Okay, so we have a Knight of Cup in reverse and a Knight of Wands. Uh, and a Knight of Sword. Oh, a lot of Knights. Uh, you might have had, a some of you, kind of a confrontation with a reversed Emperor. Because the Knight of Swords can be harsh. Knight of Wands can be, you know, um, in and out. He's just in the here and now, which is fine by itself. But uh, I have the um, Eight of Pentacle in reverse and here the Knight of Cups in reverse. So it's almost like when it comes to actually following my heart into what I want to create and manifest, my masculine, it can be spontaneous and moves and like this, uh, but maybe not sustainable. And that's why after that we have the knight, all the four knights. Uh, we have the knight of pentacle later on when you're able to turn the page and go to calmer waters. So... It's very, there's a lot of energy in there. It's the elements being backed up by a horse, by pure spirit energy. You know, the, the knights are in the heart chakra, in the tarot. There, it's that movement, it's that emanating movement. So, I'm going to put the knight of uh, 
cups in reverse there. Let's look at your queen of... Because the other knights... Yeah, it's a bit that. Because... Oops. Here I have the three of pentacle in reverse. We have the eight of pentacle in reverse. Three of pentacle in reverse. What do I want to bring forward? What do I love? Maybe I've got somebody that offered something. But I'm not able to take it. Or I'm not able to let die the old failures or the old uh, heartaches in order to be able to take this and see its potential of what it can become to actually see the potential of what that little page of cup can bring hermit so that's why it's important at this point does it feel right or not so the sun is on the side is it something that can uh, expand? Is it something that stimulates my solar plexus here? Uh, is it time for me to get out of the mausoleum of my pain, of my disappointments and trying to understand it and actually start going for it? Six of Swords. So I guess you're starting to do that because the Six of Swords is... Uh, all right, you're starting to do it, but that, that's it. There's a bit of juggling. Okay, so I have my uh, King of Wands, but behind him I have a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So if there's been abandonment, if there's, there's the doubt of... Um, not being able to commit because you were not sure we have what it takes I have the Empress upright but see he's juggling he's juggling because even if our Empress is upright if our Emperor cannot support her in her aspirations in what she wants to bring forward uh, we're gonna be dancing the dance of Shiva between those two aspects instead of uh, really moving forward between our inner world and our outer world between us really moving into action into what we want to do or just dreaming it inside of us so going into action we need the king of uh, wands to be able to uh, really go for it king and then now we have the knight of pentacle because King of Wands, uh, Queen of Wands here. Again, I stop on the... This is the power couple. And if you feel like you're stumbling when it comes to going into action, if fears come up, strength in reverse, reactions, I'm not in the flow, I'm, I'm overprotecting myself because I'm afraid of something, it's because you haven't cleared the emperor that doesn't bring a cup. That brings disappointments and heartaches. Let's look at the Knight of Pentacle upright and the Queen of Wands upright. So, all right. So we're getting out of our mausoleum. Four of Swords in reverse. We're getting out of the tomb. I'm done revising, chewing this. I'm getting out. Did I finish to heal completely? Maybe not, because there's a leftover of this guy and a leftover of things that could have and did not become, of, of, that would allow me to plant my seed and start growing it and building it. The wand, the new fire uh, that would allow me to maybe bring myself in a new way. Uh, is not yet there. So why is the strength in reverse? Ooh, all right. Strength in reverse. And then we have again, it's almost like coming into action. You'll be confronted with actually coming into act. Why isn't it happening? I'm disappointed in this and this and that. It's I decide to be in peace. I decide to be okay, but it's still not happening. And maybe there's a part of me, unconsciously, because there's things that have been clean, death is in reverse, that uh, it's going to be like it's always. And if I have to deal with the Three of Swords and an Emperor in reverse, um, 
I'm not going to manifest it happening. It's going to be always things stopping it. The eight of wands in reverse, instead of the arrows of love where things are like, I'm in the flow, things are flowing. It's like one interruption after another. You know, oh, we're going to start next week. Oh, finally, it's going to be the week after. It's nonstop. And then we're just putting our energy and I'm expecting to be uh, hurt again by that. So having uh, the fire participate. Yeah, five of wands just to have more proof that the problem is fire. And the problem is fire because your queen of, of swords is in reverse. Because you're, the way you see it, you still see it through the lens of your old wounds and disappointments on how people acted. You know, it's like uh, emperor in reverse can easily be a narcissist. And even if you turn your page and you're upright just the fact that you still perceive everything through the lens of what you've experienced with narcissists you won't be able to perceive genuine gestures that are not meant to fill a empty pit a bottomless pit uh, so it's a bit in that sense, whether it is for your projects, for your what you want to bring forward, or how people bring their energy. We can turn the page and all of that, but as long as we haven't healed the emotional receptor, uh, we are gonna not gonna change our perspective, and we're still gonna be able, only able to see these things, even if it's just unconsciously. So that. Uh, will influence our capacity to uh, do something about it. Let's see. Seven of Cups. And Seven of Cups is uh, Venus in Scorpio. But uh, Venus is not comfortable when Scorpio did not clean everything. And so she's, she's a generative energy. So she's going to emancipate and generate... All of the emotions that are linked with love, worth, value, uh, the good ones and the distorted ones. And that's why it creates a, cup, uh, a fog in front. And we don't know what's what. And yeah, it's the um, unprocessed emotions that is creating this. And... I think the cancer season, double water here, it's going to push on your unprocessed emotions. So even if during the month you're like, I'm mastering my fire here. This is what I want. This is what I want to go for. If you see that the universe is not responding, it's because it's responding to your unconscious stuff that you haven't resolved yet. That's why. So it, and that influences your fire more than your conscious willpower so on this my beautiful scorpios ah, i'm gonna call this dealing with unconscious fire yeah that you picked up there so um on this i'm gonna send you all my love and light for the month of july thank you for watching sharing commenting and all of that Please subscribe to help grow the channel. If you want a private reading, there's a description below. You just go to the website. It's very easy. During the month, I'm hoping to be able to put online the tarot course that I made. So I hope that uh, um, it's going to be done this month. At worst, next month, because I'm not the tech savvy here. <laughs> so... Uh, on this, thank you uh, for the ones of you also who gave donations. It helps more than you think. And don't forget that on a new moon and a full moon, I ask the divine to give you back in the shape that is the most beneficial for your growth, your path, your blooming and all of that. So on this, my beautiful Scorpios, all my love and light. 
I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.